We're going to put out an executive order today. New York State on pause. Only essential businesses will be functioning. 100% of the workforce uh, must stay home. This is the most drastic action we can take. Everything is uncharted territory. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the news any minute. I think I've been asking a lot of how we could have prevented this. Am I going to see another depression like my grandfather saw in the 1920s? Over the past few days, New York City has taken a lot of important measures. I'm just worried it came a little bit too late. I think I'm scared of having to see more death and from reading stories from abroad, having to make decisions about resources. And I'm worried people in my life are going to die from it. A few days ago, I had to watch a patient basically slowly die. I, I just felt helpless. This is the first time I've, I've really seen people that I, I truly don't know how to help. And they are coming in so sick that everything I'm used to doing to be able to treat them, I can't really do. How was your day off, Nish? Um, it was emotional, to say the least. Yeah, why? It's just like the hospital's been insane and every hour like things are changing. Um, so it's just like trying to keep up with that while trying to read about what I should be treating these people with while like people are rolling in the worst, like, I don't know. They say like in 18 days it's supposed to get really bad. So I, I guarantee you tomorrow we're gonna have like a thousand more. The numbers are gonna go up. No problem at all. Thank you very much. That's very nice. Thank you. Sounds good. See you then. Bye. Well, I have been working. A lot of people are not, which is hard. Um, this place used to have 30 employees, and on Sunday we let go 90% of the staff. We want to reopen so we can rehire people, you know? It's, um, it was really hard to let everyone go. And uh, these are people that are at the level, they're, um, they're not wealthy. You know, this is a very harsh reality. And actually what the job is, is, you know, smiling st through stress and like, this is hard to smile through. It's go time here at the community kitchen. This is the time where we have to ramp up our services, be very sensitive to how people are feeling. People are coming to us feeling vulnerable. Um, they maybe work in the restaurant industry, people who work in Broadway and in a lot of the behind the scenes, um, and they're coming here saying, well, I don't have work. So those industries are, are the folks that are the first ones that we're seeing come through. Uh, but we're preparing to see more people come through um, in need. All programming at the senior center is suspended for the next two weeks. Stay safe and have a good day. So this is not business as usual. We don't know what's coming up if people have to stay in their homes for a longer period of time. And we want to make sure people are getting food. Especially since a lot of industries are out of work, we are expecting a lot of new people and we are going to be ready to receive them. This is all very new for them and some of them are feeling guilt or shame coming to an emergency food program. So we have to remember that we do this all the time, but for them, it's something new and something that they feel anxious about doing. We're just getting them registered, they're getting food, 
that's our main priority is people are getting food. I'm not supposed to touch my face. Hold on a second. I have prepared myself already mentally multiple times to go back to Oregon and leave this entire beautiful dream behind me. So many people, including many of my friends, are working at bars, at restaurants, which are now closed, and now we're all at home wondering, can we make it another month? Can our families afford to pay their mortgages at home? Do we just need to go back and start working just so we can help our own families, the people that we love the most, stay in the homes that we grew up in? It's hard to think that my mom or my dad are never going to see retirement. The best things that we can do right now as a community is just to give ourselves over to something that brings us true happiness. Because right now, it feels like it's about to get very desperate. This is only something that we can get through if we're working together. There will be so much suffering, unnecessary suffering, if we're not really looking out for each other and if we're only thinking about ourselves and our well-being. We have to be thinking about each other.